Everybody who enters into marriage believes that it'll be forever and they have great expectations and uh, when a marriage ends it is so painful and messy and disorienting. A lot of things broke in me. Uh, my prayer was broken, my, uh, my belief was broken, and my worship was broken. And I, I couldn't make those things work, you know. Well, each night of the tour, at the end, they would open, open it up for an altar call for people who needed prayer, and they'd come down, and then we as the artists would go down and pray with people. I thought, man, I don't know how to do that. I don't know. I don't know what I believe. I don't know how prayer works anymore because the one thing that I prayed the hardest about didn't work out, you know. So I don't know if anyone wants me praying for them. And so I decided instead of hiding out in my bunk, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go down and I'm going to pray with people. I don't know how that's going to work. I hope someone who needs healing hasn't come to me to ask for prayer, you know, because I, I don't know what I have to give. But I, I want to be. I want to be present to this. I felt so encouraged in that as though God was saying, uh, I still have good work for you to do. And uh, so um, for anybody who's going through that, you know, uh, there's, um, there's a devotion by Oswald Chambers where uh, he says, the initiative against despair is to rise and do the next thing.